you wrote the CS IELTS exam, and in the background, I spoke to hundreds of students who were losing faith, motivation, panicking, and of course, two of the families came right here to Biotechnica to talk to me. One before the exam, one right after the exam. And um, that is the reason I'm making this video because CSI and exam is like a festival to the life science students and chemical science students. And um, then later on, many of you will ask me, what's next? What should we do be doing? What should be our short term goal? What should be our long term goal? How should we go ahead? So I said, OK, uh, you don't need to travel all the way from distant parts of the country to come here to meet me you can always uh, listen to this video and it'll help but definitely if you want to come you can always come to biotechnica and rasayanika and you're most welcome i will definitely attend to you to start with you see csi net exam happened and no matter whatever was your performance now that you're going to wait for results right now there are two things which you have to know and of course you are in a dilemma you're in a dilemma that uh, whether I should prepare for another exam or I should go for a job or what should I do in the next three to six months. So this video will make things crystal clear for all of you. Now, first things first, two things you have to know. The first is waiting for the result is totally unproductive. It's a waste of time because the result is already sealed and you know it already somewhere in your mind, whether you're qualifying or not. So. Do a critical analysis of the question paper as soon as it comes and then you will know how much you're scoring. If your score is below the cutoff, which is the general cutoff, uh, 120 marks or something, 115 to 120 marks. If it is below that, you already know that you have to prepare. Now, if your marks is above that also, fail safe mechanism, you should prepare. But I'm going to give you two ideas which will help you pass through this phase. You can add more things to your CV, but at the same time, you know, you will have a plan B also. So plan A is done. You have sealed your fate, exam is over. Plan B. The plan B is while you wait for results, you do a critical evaluation of how was your performance and you start your preparation again, right? Now the third, which is a plan C. So plan B is start your preparation again if your uh, exam was bad. Plan C is you can go and take up some intern job or some permanent job in some company while you continue your preparation because you can work in the daytime there and you can prepare for the exam in the evening time which with biotechnica because we have evening classes also from seven o'clock onwards so whole day you can be in the job and then evening you can prepare with biotechnica and of course your preparation keeps moving forward your job keeps giving you the money and at the same time you can fund your future initiatives also now one important thing about taking up a job is don't take a job which is very tiring physically because after the job you have to prepare for the exam also okay and that is why i said said interns so like uh, many of the fire scholarship applicants who are going to get selected for the uh, fire project uh, for the Swiss company. So they are going to work in Biotechnica in the daytime and then they'll be free in the evening time to prepare for CSI and attend gate. So that kind of, uh, you know, winning formula we have created for them. And of course, they are doing a job. They're going to get salary also. Right. So imagine a um, place where you get salary also uh, from a Swiss company and then you are doing all this and then you are of course, preparing for CSI net, right? And all of this happening happens in a very coherent manner. That's what we have designed. But anyways, whether you take up at Biotechnica or any, anywhere else, that's uh, secondary. So we post a lot of intern jobs and uh, you can work there. While you're working, don't take up a job which is very tiring. You can continue your work and then evening you can prepare for CSI net. Now, the fourth option which you have is going for a permanent job and stopping your preparation altogether. Right now, many of you will be like, Mujse nahi hoga. I don't think I can make it. So let's quit and let me go for a industry job. Right. So like the last week I was in Merck, then I was in IAC Bangalore, then I was in, uh, you know, iBiome and uh, Genotypic. So all these companies have vacancies and I keep posting it uh, to our WhatsApp job uh, performance and training uh, program, which we have in WhatsApp. So yeah, you can uh, be a part of our WhatsApp group and then I'll keep sharing all these jobs there. You can apply. But, so I told you plan A, plan B, plan C, okay, plan D, but there is a big but, which you should know. If you are not writing CSI on it, okay, there are two things you're going to lose. The first is age. Once the age is crossed, 
So industry job you can get any day, permanent job you can get any day, no matter what job you want you can get it, get any day. But after the age of 20, 28 and 33, you cannot write CSIR net. So once you cannot write CSIR net, eligibility is gone, what will you do? Instead, right now itself, you write it, take the PhD, finish it off and then get started, right? So that's what I suggested to the two candidates who came with their families in Biotechnica yesterday and day before and I guided them and the same story I'm telling you here, it is easy to get a job today. It is very easy. I'm placing students like anything. It's so simple. But what will happen after that is once your age limit is gone, right, you will be at the mercy of industry. Whatever they want, they can do. If recession is there, they'll remove you. If there is no requirement project in it, they'll remove you, right? Instead, look for some permanency and that is PhD. Once you have the PhD, you are eligible for government jobs as well as, well as your private jobs also. Now, second uh, point which I wanted to make here is, guys, think about it. UGC has already approved a lot of foreign universities to open campuses in India. By the time you will finish your PhD and you will get a job and you will have two years of experience in the next seven years I'm talking about, all these universities will be in India, right? You know, foreign universities, Stanford, Harvard, Oxford, all the, these will be in India ha having their campuses, right? Now what will happen is they will look for professors, right? If you have a PhD with a cutting edge, uh, you know, maybe computational biology, quantum chemistry, something which is uh, really uh, out of the box, they will hire you. Right. And their average salary is going to be one and a half lakh to two lakh rupees per month. Right. So you will lose that also. Right. So plan A, I told you, OK, right again. The plan B was uh, take up a temporary job and uh, uh, right again. Plan C was take up a permanent job. Right. And right again, the plan D was, OK, take up the permanent job and stop writing at all. But the last part, which I said is, Guys, think about it. A lot of foreign universities are going to come. You can be a professor there, especially for female candidates, right? The work-life balance will be very good if you are a, a teacher or a professor and that will be very nice. Now, if you want to get into industry also, companies prefer PhDs over MSCs. It's a universal truth now. And coming to all those who are right now in this dilemma that what should I do while I'm you know, waiting for the results, start your preparation again and take up some temporary jobs. Okay. And continue your preparation so that at least you can fund yourself and your stay in a city like Bangalore or wherever you are. And you can continue taking your classes at Biotechnica in the evening, which is seven o'clock to 10 o'clock. We are starting a fresh batch from uh, 11th of January. That will be the Arjuna batch. And I want you, I invite you to become the Arjuna who does not just see the fish he sees the eye of the fish so that, that's exactly what you have to do you have to okay you have to not just think that i have to do phd think like i have to do phd from ic bangalore under this particular scientist like that you design an elaborate plan and then reverse engineer what you need biotechnica will be the catalyst to help you so with these thoughts i would like to end this particular video thank you so much for watching i wish you all the best no matter whatever is your um, you know goal I'm right here for you. If you want a job, you should join the WhatsApp group which Biotechnica has. And if you want to you know, prepare for CSI net, you can always join the Arjuna badge. And of course, if you want a job under the FIRE project, then you should apply for the FIRE project. So all the three links, I will ask the team to put below this video. Thank you so much. Keep shining. Bye-bye.